Oh, goodness. Look at that. All right, guys, welcome back. It's been a minute since we had a video. Yeah. Got Jeff on the boat with me today. That's right. A little cold, a little windy. Yeah, but the 60. Yeah, 60. It's cold for me. <laughs> well, I just came from working up north, so this weather's a little bit nicer. We got some sand fleas today. We got some shrimp. The sheep's head's been, they've been doing pretty good with sheep's head and pompano. So that's going to be our targeted species today. Yeah, Hopefully. I've already lost a few uh, sand fleas, so there's something down there by you. That's yeah, we lost two already. Show you what the sand fleas. Here they are. That is one big barge. Give props to that guy, man, to move on something like that through the river. Four stories tall. A huge plane. Jeffy's hooked up. Idea. First fish of the day. Uh-oh, that is not what we want. These things are our enemy. Look at that. Mm. No. No. No, no bueno. Not cool. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Well, we forgot our scraper, so we're uh, we're improvising. Pull that net just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. We're using the end of the net handle. Getting some barnacles off in the water, hopefully fire up the sheep's out a little bit. Good? Try this one. <clears throat> It wasn't pretty good. <laughs> Gotta get those nice log ones, those dark ones. See what happens. Hey, good job. It ain't the best tool, but it's a tool. <laughs> Sometimes you got to improvise. There we go. There's a fish. <laughs> That's what we're after. <laughs> I missed his mouth though. Definitely missed his mouth on that one. I kind of snagged him. And he is too little. Anyway. Sorry, little fella. Didn't mean to get you in the stomach. what we're after just a bigger one getting it off fast as I get it down there you got one Jeff one. Jeff's hooked up another little, baby. little eight incher hey at least we're getting what we came to get yeah Take the the grandpa though that'd be cool yeah yeah we'll get we'll hopefully get a bigger one here this guy decided he wanted to go oh, he's been oh, yeah. yeah probably the same one i just caught get it past these small ones oh, 
There we go. Feels a little better. I don't know if he's going to make 12. <laughs> Scared me. All right, guys, this is the rig right here I'm using. Live sand flea, purple and white, sweeper style jig. Look at that goofy looking ugly thing. Looks like a cockroach of the water. But the pompano and the sheep's head love these things. So I'm gonna give it a whirl, see what happens. There we go. Come on, don't be a catfish. Don't be a catfish. <clears throat> say, no to say no, just say no. It's got weight to it, whatever it is. Oh, goodness. Look at that. That don't happen around here too often. No. I'm gonna grab that, maybe grab that net just in case. It's something really good and not a 10 pound catfish. Just make sure the logo is up when you open it. Kind of wondering if it's a big stingray. Cause it's like pulling up dead weight. Oh, it's a shark. Shark? Yep. Is it a eater shark? <sighs> well, your, your guess, I am not up on my shark species. I know bull sharks and some of the the basic ones, but there's so many of them. I, I honestly, I don't normally I just turn them loose, but shark sticks, man. yeah, no, I'm down. I just, I'm not up on my shark species. Oh, that's an eater for sure. Think so? Yep. Don't let him. Look at that. You can grab that hook for me. Thank you, sir. You want to keep them? Yep. It's going to be good eating. Well, it's not what we were after, but it'll eat good. All right, guys, made it back to the house. This is actually the next day. Um, we didn't do very good, just to be honest. We, we did get, I think we ended up with about five or six sheep's head. Um, all of them were undersized. Um, we still had fun though for a couple hours of fishing. So we did get this little shark. Um, I'm 99% sure it's a fine tooth. I'm not, like I said before, I'm not up on my sharks very much, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So. I looked, I looked it up on, uh, on the fish rules app and I'm pretty sure it's a fine tooth. So it's going to be pretty good to eat. 
Um, one thing we did is I, I gutted it. As soon as we caught it, we gutted it. Um, sharks, like, they pee, or urinate through their skin. So I've always gutted them as soon as I catch them, and the meat's always been great. So just a tip, if you catch a shark, take the extra minute and gut it. Um, it'll help the flavor of it. I'm not sure what recipe we're going to do yet. Um, we're probably going to marinate it in something and then grill it. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to get this thing filleted, and we'll go from there. Well, some white meat. It actually looks really, really good. I haven't had a shark in a while. That's why I decided to keep it. Very nice meat. Trying to film over here. Quiet on the set. What are you thinking? Uh, you shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Quiet on the set. Got the light set right. Yep. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> We're so ready. Okay. Welcome back, you guys. We're in the kitchen. <laughs> We're ready for Jamaica, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm so excited to go to Jamaica that like I am ready for the plane, I'm ready for the car ride, I'm ready for the resort. And we're getting ready to cook up some amazing fine tooth shark. That's what you called it, right? That's what fish rolls said. The, the, the what? Fish rolls. <laughs> fish rolls, okay. So no, you, guys saw the, you guys saw the catch part and unfortunately I was working so I wasn't there but Jeff and Jimmy caught this beautiful shark and we're about to cook it. 
honest to goodness, I've never ever had shark before. I've never eaten it, so I'm really excited. The meat before he put it in here looked really white and very like shiny, so I'm super excited to see what it's like. We got some noodles and some green beans um, going, but I'm getting ready to drop this shark in the pan. And I like a little bit of butter with olive oil. Mm. I don't think you can ever have enough butter. Nope. We're gonna let this pan heat up. For the shark, we ended up just doing a garlic teriyaki sauce that we picked up from our local meat market, um, Gaffs, in Deland, Florida. Um, they carry the Stonewall Kitchen um, marinades and sauces. So this is the garlic teriyaki, non-GMO. Heck yeah. Um, ew, it's sticky. Um, so we're gonna. It's been sitting in there for probably about six fur. hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fur. It's been sitting there for about six hours. Why'd you, why do you have to comment on my fur? I know I say it weird. All right. All right, so we're gonna drop a couple pieces in. I think I'm gonna get the I thicker. Could, I think we could fit them all. The thicker, smaller piece, ooh, shoot. Let me get that juice back on there. The juice. The juice is on fire. I want the thicker pieces on first just because they take a little bit longer to cook. So all you did was what? Skin the meat and then did you soak it in nope. milk or just anything? It. You just marinated it, okay. So some recipes called for a good milk soak um, prior to. Those are people don't gut their sharks first. But we gutted it first. Okay, all right. And Look at that. It. I mean, it looks good. All right. So, do sharks have bones? This is something new that I just learned. So I want you guys to comment below whether or not you think that sharks have bones. And let us know what you think. Ow! That was hot. <laughs> it's really pretty meat though. How big do you say that this shark was? This is all the meat that came mm, off the shark? Yeah. All right, so it's a little pup. Ten, maybe, 10 pounds, 12 pounds. That. Somewhere in that neighborhood. He was a pet. Perfect eating size. All right, so it's time to flip over this shark. And it's been sitting on one side for a couple of minutes now. I'm just gonna, it looks like it's time to flip her over. And <laughs> this one's a little. Last little piece here. All right, while well, we let this sit in the sauce for a couple more minutes and cook through, cook thoroughly, sorry. I just wanna apologize for not being with you guys for the last couple of months. The weather here in Florida has been a little bit weird. As you guys know, we've been dealing with a jet stream that has been pushing a lot of wet weather, a lot of high winds, a lot of terrible storms and things through our area. So we haven't been out on the boat very often or really at all in the last couple of months. Um, so hopefully coming soon, you guys are gonna see. We are on our way to Jamaica. We've got some things planned for Jamaica. 
maybe an offshore fishing trip. For sure an offshore fishing trip. Planned for Jamaica. We're going to be in Ocho Rio, so um, we're just going to play it by ear, find a Take good charter, and stay along for the ride, whatever he just said. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're definitely done. Thin ones are good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at how white that meat is. Let's get up in there. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, it looked really, really good. I've eaten a shark before. I don't think I've ever had shark. I don't remember it. I've never. That At least not to my recollection. I mean, it's definitely super tender, very flaky. Well, I say flaky, it's not. So, when you think of a shark, like, I feel like whenever I think of a shark, I think of rubber, I think of just a very, you know, meaty, strong muscle kind of a fish. So, like, for me, when I'm thinking about a shark, I feel like the texture is going to be a little bit more firm. It's going to maybe be a little bit rubbery, so we're going to we'll find out. see. Big, big, bigger sharks. I've eaten a couple of bigger sharks. I've actually had bull shark. I've had a, a couple had other ones shark? over there. I have, and it's uh, it reminds you a little bit. I would say a little bit on the swordfish consistency. But when did you have this bull shark? This is a small yo. Know, your babe. You know I've been fishing for my whole life. I've eaten everything. Like breaking fish. all the fish. That looks like fish sticks. <laughs> Is that where we get fish sticks from? I bet that's where we get fish sticks from. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the fish sticks from the box. The, what is the, is it's it Captain? Cod. Yeah, I don't know. What's Captain something or other? D. Captain D's. I don't know, I just made that up. I have no fish idea. Sticks. I love me some fresh green beans. I can make a crazy, I can make some crazy videos. I got a nice you want more green beans? Time. Oh, I haven't even given you any. No beans for Burr. Dang, no, <laughs> no beans. beans for the Burr. No beans for you. Oh God. Okay, okay. Is that good? That's good. There's butter. You, you gotta get butter because they're gonna shit you without butter. All vegetables are crappy without butter. Okay. And salt and pepper. And well, salt and pepper. The salt. They're salt fresh. Salt and pepper here. Fresh green beans. Chappy. Yeah. You want green beans? Like a wee bit. I'm not gonna do. All right, kids. Dinner is served. Alright. Alright, who's gonna try it first? It looks like fish. Probably tastes like fish. No, it probably tastes like teriyaki <laughs> marinade. Horrible? No, it's actually really good. Is that <laughs> bad without teriyaki? A lot of bones in it though. A lot of bones just... in it. <laughs> Wait spit a them out. That was the question of the day. Do sharks have bones? Jake, do you know if sharks have bones? They don't. They don't? What do they have? Mm. What are their teeth? Bones? Well, yeah. I mean, in the meat. I oh. it. So, so, everybody that doesn't know, this is our son. Believe he's Jake. He's in cartilage. college now, so he's never around very often. Hi. So we're, ha we're happy to have him. Nobody wants you around, Dirk. Nobody wants you around, Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, babe, what do you think? Okay. Well, Give it a whirl. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. I always want you around. I, I like want... it. I think it's good. You like it? You like the shark? Yeah. Okay, first time for everything. Oh my god, that's so good. It is different though than fish. Like you can tell it's definitely a little more firm. It's like no, no, not even. It's like it's, I don't not, know. it's not firm. Burr, right? what you think? Yeah, it's not. But it's like no. was it worth keeping or should we have thrown it back? Absolutely worth keeping. Oh yeah. We're keeping all the sharks. I like it. From now on. Mm -hmm. Even different. the endangered ones. We're used to no, like fish. But people. it's weird because it doesn't have a fishy taste to it. I was actually kind Does of surprised. Does it have a sharky taste? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally, it's, it's yeah. Clean. Da -na 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 But it's like I mean it's it's super white. All right, so don't be racist. Jimmy, you just ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. All right. It's the 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 flesh of the fish is super white, and so. 
as I'm eating it, like I don't feel like I'm eating fish. That is like bright white. It doesn't taste like a fish to me. It almost kind of tastes it's land nice. animal-ish. It's, it's not like chicken. It's like chicken. Like chicken it's like almost like chicken. Like super, 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 super tender chicken. Yeah. Cool. I don't taste any fish in it whatsoever. Now, that may have been because you guys gutted it and bled it out prior to, right? Yep. As soon as we caught it. So, why don't you give me the camera and you taste it? Okay. Oh, you can see all my blankets. Really? Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. The teriyaki I, is actually pretty bomb on it. I like it. Yeah. No, that teriyaki is amazing. I mean, you don't taste hardly any of the fish in my opinion. It's mostly teriyaki and garlic. Yeah. But it's really freaking good. And yeah. by the way, can you see me in that thing? You're so close to me. Yeah. I started another YouTube channel. If anybody's interested, I've only got a couple videos on it now. Yeah, if you're into CNC machine, uh, like CNC router and woodworking, I started another YouTube channel. Um, couple weeks ago, um, teaching, um, doing some tutorials on Vetric software and just making random projects and stuff. So when we're not fishing, it gives me something else I can film and do some videos. So check it out. It's called um, One Inch Off is the name of the uh, woodworking channel. So check it out if you're into that sort of thing. And the next time you'll be seeing us, we'll be in Jamaica. Woo! We're leaving next week with Jeff and Amber. They're coming with us. So Oh yeah, we're gonna do. For, um, if hopefully the weather's good, we're gonna at least do one charter. Yeah. Because it's cheaper now that Jeff and Amber are going, so now it's <laughs> half the cost, so it's better. Yeah. <laughs> so we can technically do two charters because I was planning on paying the six hundred total. <clears throat> Maybe even three. Why not? Maybe even three charters. <laughs> so until the next one, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Later. Bye.